Yo guys, what's going on? Here's me, KLV, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the best way to farm steel essence. Now, this is what I did, and I got about 60 to 70 in an hour, what is insane, because I've been playing through all the star chart, and it took about 7 hours, and I got about 6. So, this is probably the best way to actually farm steel essence. If you want any help with doing farming steel essence because obviously you can do it with multiple people and get more make sure you do join my discord someone will probably want to join you because steel essence is kind of the thing that everyone's wanting now because of this new ephemera that looks really nice in my opinion so before the video starts i do want to say we do have a giveaway going on at this for this month if you do if you do want to know how to join it there'll be a little annotation on top of the screen right now probably on the left or right of the side of the screen so let's get to the video so now to farm steel essence i really recommend having a resource booster and a resource drop chance booster now i got the resource drop chance booster for free from uh, i don't know it was some hard mode thing that i got got it from um so yeah make sure you have a resource drop chance booster because that helps out a ton of, for getting the steel essence so what i use is i use Cora if you can see by the if you saw by the background I was using Cora and this is the build that I was using for Cora. So first we have a Shepherd, just because a Shepherd is just the base one and it, yeah it's kind of just really easy, it's just basically the basic, the basic one. So next we have Accumulating the Whip Claw, now this is a Whip Claw Augment and uh, hitting 3 enemies will grant a 35% stacking bo damage bonus to subsequent Whip Claws. Now basically this can go up more, uh, I think it goes up to 350 that it ends up kind of going up to it. and it gives it a damage bonus so that's really nice to have so pilfering strangler i highly highly recommend having this if you're using cora and you don't have this argument there's no point running cora you might as well just run necros because if you're running the cora what i really do recommend in the hard mode because she does tons of damage cora does in hard mode then having pilfering strangle dome helps a ton on that so next streamline simple efficiency uh, Feeling expertise again simple just for the efficiency overextended for the range stretch for the range organ message for the duration and the prime continuity for that duration now next we have arcane energize just for that energy and next arcane fury now i'm not 100 percent sure that if arcane fury actually does work on uh Korra, but if not it don't really matter because i don't really think anything else really will work because arcane guardian wouldn't really work on Korra as she's kind of still kind of squishy so next is obviously you're going to need a stat stick when using Korra. so now this is the stat stick that i use if you don't know what stat stick is basically it's just a melee that is just pure damage mods and basically that's it like you wouldn't have like prime reach or prime fury or something like that it's just pure damage mods so here we have is blood rush condition overload sacrificial pressure and sacrificial steel now you don't need condition overload but it is really good to have because even though whip claw is more likely just going to be one shot on him anyway when you get to that 12 times combo multiplier sometimes when you get to that about one hour mark uh, it, it, they can start to like take about two two hits so next we have organ shatter now the reason why i put organ shatter is because i didn't really know what else to put on here because i already had a kind of a good build now most of all this stuff is like reach and uh, true steel and all that but i've already got uh, steel on here and they weren't really anything that i actually needed on here so i put organ shatter and it kind of did help out a lot because we were getting about 500,000 uh, damage on the red crit so that was really good so next we just have our status mods our status mods and we had we had gas for us infested and gas actually helped out a ton than uh, viral and the reason why is because gas obviously lets have a gas cloud and uh, if you've got a decent damage on that that can do loads of damage and i would get about 64,000 on the gas clouds so that was still kind of decent so and then also molten impact now if you do ha have the uh, 60 60 mod for the molten impact you could use that i personally didn't but that's fine i just use the uh, 90 one so that's basically the stat stick that i used and let's um, show you the map that i used so now what i did i was on Senna and i was on this map right here amana now amana is it's basically an infested mission it's probably the most easiest one to do that's why i recommend doing this one because one infested is easy to kill and two it's just extra resource drop chance as well that i'll be stacking on so that is nuts now i do want to say when you're using Korra, do be careful Cora is really squishy when you get to that high level 
uh, enemies so when you get about to like one hour again like i said earlier uh, she will get quite kind of squishy and can get one shotted by the ones that just like pull you now i did get one shotted like twice while doing this so you do gotta be careful make sure you always have your pilfering strangle dome always up because if you don't have it up then majority of the time they are going to be uh going to be like pulling you in because they're not getting like attached by it so make sure you always have this up make sure you always look at your time on it and yeah basically that's it I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you did. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Peace out.